This is an honest review of Growing Beets. We've done beets a few different ways. We've done, done them out in the field and we've done them in the planter box garden. Um, the planter box garden is way more successful. It's a lot less work. Number one, because of the weeding, there's minimal to it and they grow way better. They grow thicker and just so much less maintenance than when we were out in the field. When we were out in the field, they wouldn't get very big and you'd have to deal with a ton of weeding and it just became a lot of work. Probably one of the biggest things I've learned is that you can plant them in the spring, summer, and fall. So you don't have to just limit it to summer. So we kind of stagger plant too. We've planted in the spring and then we harvest. And then after we harvest, we replant. And so you'll notice a lot of different sized beets in our garden because we do stagger plant. And that's worked really well for us. And then it doesn't take up as much space and you don't have any waste. You can also pickle them and stuff to minimize waste. But this works really well for us because we like to just boil them and eat them. They're one of our favorite foods. So stagger planting has been probably our number one um, change when, from when we started planting them. The other thing I really like about beets and that we learned after the first year of planting them is that you can eat the whole thing. You don't just have to eat the root, which is this, the beet root. You eat the leaves and the stems too, and they're all super beneficial. These are actually a really easy one to grow also, especially in planter box gardens, because you literally throw in the seeds, water, weed, and go, which I love about them. We haven't really had any failures that I can think of with beets because they've just always grown easily. The only, I guess, failure, but it really wasn't, was they got, they didn't get quite as big when they were out in the field. They were smaller. I like a medium-sized beet because it's got more flavor and you're gonna to wanna to eat it a lot more. The bigger they get, the more dirt-like they taste and you don't want them too small. So I guess out of failures, the only thing we've really had is when we had them in the field, they were kind of small and didn't get as big as I would like with them. I also learned that when you have beets, you kind of need to pick them and eat them right away. They do wilt really well, so we don't put them on the stand because they just don't hold up under sun. They're one of the vegetables that you do need to eat like the day you pick them or a day or two around it, but you can't just leave them out. Otherwise they lose all their flavor and they get mushy. So that's not very good. We've never had any bug problems with any of our beets. We've never had any infestations or anything like that at all. And we don't spray or use any sort of pesticides. So that's one of my favorite things about beets is that we really haven't had any bug issues. Um, and we haven't had any plant disease with them e either. I'm guessing that's probably because they're a short cycle, but they've never had mildew or rot or anything along those lines. The biggest problem I've run into with these is that my husband feels like I don't plant enough of them because we eat so many of them. He's always like, why aren't we planting more and more and more? So next year we are gonna add uh, at least two more planter boxes of this size in the garden. So we do have even more of them. But they're a pretty like non-problematic plant. I mean, you just throw them and they grow and stagger plant and you get plenty to harvest, unless you're my family. That's my honest thoughts about growing beets. And if you want to check out what we've done in the past, check out right here.